Whoever said life doesn't give you more than you can handle was a liar. Hello, I'm Noreen Burke, and if you're familiar with my channel, I am usually doing things that are all about organizing, decluttering, upcycling, DIYs, anything crafty. But if you followed me for a while, you know I also talk about real things that happen in my life, as well as chronic pain and depression. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. As you can see, everything behind me is still Christmas. I was working on the 12 days of Christmas. The 10th was the last day that I was able to do anything. I got a bad cold, which segued into a wicked sinus infection, and I had to stop finishing the 12 days of Christmas, which I'm so sorry about. I was so excited for you to see some of the things that I was working on, but alas, I finally just had to confess to myself that I just simply couldn't do it. And that always puts me in such a disappointed state in myself when I say I'm going to do something and I don't follow through. It's such a big pet peeve for me. I was also very acutely aware of what was coming around the bend. I had mentioned in past videos that it's been an interesting year. Mostly good things have happened, um, but there's been some rocky things. I got bit by a dog. My daughter had to have a pretty major surgery. My dad had surgery. Uh, I had another surgery that was looming for uh, my dad. And I knew that that was going to be a big, big surgery. And in preparing for that mentally, I just knew that it was going to be a rocky beginning of the year. And that's where we're at right now. Uh, he went in for surgery right after Christmas for the Whipple procedure, which is for pancreatic cancer. So he is still in the hospital today. Uh, recovery isn't going quite as quick and as well as we had thought. So we're just trying to be very positive and upbeat and hopeful. And there are no major complications, but there have been lots of little ones that just keep setting us back. So I'm trying to keep my emotions level. I'm trying to be supportive of him, help. He has a wife that has some health issues. I'm still trying to take care of the kids. And sadly, what I don't have time for is my business. So I've missed you guys. This video is not about whining. It's more because I know there are so many of you that are going through similar things. I got to meet with one of my viewers right after Christmas, Julie. It was really nice getting to see you. Uh, and she's got some battles that she's going through. One of my longest, dearest friends, Cindy, just let me know yesterday she has lung cancer that spread to her lymph nodes. I, I can't even wrap my head around that. And, you know, I've got car issues and food issues and finance issues. And all I keep reminding myself is those are all things that are going to pass. The people around me, the people I care about, the people that I've become friends with here through YouTube and my neighbors, those are my core support systems. And I have to be really mindful of focusing on those positive things. And if you are struggling through anything, that's what I want to reach out and say to you today is we're going to be getting through this together. Don't feel like you're alone. So often when these emotions start eating away at you and when your plate gets that full, then you may or may not have support systems in place to help you. It feels very lonely. It feels very difficult and like there's no way to get out of it. And even though I might be feeling that way, I know that it will pass. I know I do have people out there who want to help me and I might just be stubborn at the moment and not be willing to take their help or might be embarrassed to take their help. Uh, don't be like me. Take their help. I'm going to keep reminding myself that if somebody offers, graciously say yes and, and take that assistance. Make my life easier even if it's just for that moment. So with all of that being said, um, my video schedule is going to be very different going forward. We don't know when he's getting out of the hospital. When he does, I'll be staying with him for a few weeks until he gets back on his feet. And I don't know when I'm going to have time to film. But obviously, since it's how I pay my bills, I still have to make it somewhat of a priority. So what I'm filming is going to be very different going forward, you guys. It might be me giving an update. It might be me it might be me just doing a craft for the day because that's what's going to be more therapeutic and I'd rather just hang out with you as my friends. 
uh, than doing something educational. My house is a disaster and that always adds to my depression when I'm struggling. So uh, if you're still trying to get out of the holiday messes, know that you are also not alone with that. So once he is better and on his feet, that is something I would love to take you with me in doing my house and revamping it and reorganizing it. But mostly I want to say thank you for supporting. I got so many lovely, lovely holiday cards. Ve and Luba, you guys are always so wonderful in reaching out to me via mail. I'm very, very far behind in my friend mail, but I will be catching up. Anna Pratt, I love you guys. I really appreciate all of the constant support. And so with that, I just want to say we're in this together. We're going to push through. I'm just as much as a cheerleader for you. And I know you guys are there for me. So thank you. And if you could just watch an old video for me, give me a view. It might help out. In the meantime, thanks. Thanks to my patrons who are still giving me the support, even though I am not holding up my end for them. But I will get back on my feet and get back into my schedule very soon. 